I don't know how much you can trust Sephora's reviews, but I was going through some of the reviews on this product here and they were not so pretty. People were going in on these on Sephora. They talked about how they were super tiny, the lipstick broke off, it's not worth the $20. Like I said, I don't know how much you can trust the reviews, but that's what the people were saying. The people have responded. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. Today's video, we're gonna be swatching Huda Beauty's Power Nude Lipsticks. So like many of my mini lipstick sets, I got these on Sephora. At the time, they were $19, but they have been reduced to $13, so even a better deal if you were looking to try these out. I don't know how much you can trust Sephora's reviews, but I was going through some of the reviews on this product here and they were not so pretty. And apparently they were not happy about these lipsticks. So before I judge, we're gonna go in and we are gonna test these babies out today and then I will give my own review on what I think about these lipsticks. So uh, there are two shades that are included. The shades are Interview and Girls Trip. They're also cruelty free and they claim to deliver a smooth, full coverage payoff in just one swipe. I'll start with the lighter shade first, which is Girls Trip. Well, look at that. That's not even the size of my pinky. I mean, <laughs> I am used to mini lipsticks, but that's like not even the tip of my pinky. It's even less than that. It's about half of the tip of my pinky. Yeah, okay. And the last shade we have is Interview. And this is a darker brown shade. I'm more excited to try this one actually. I do happen to like this shade a lot better than the first one, Girl Strip, because this one is a little bit darker and complements me a little bit more. I also love how these feel on my lips. It's The texture is like, it's smooth and creamy, but light and powdery at the same time. It's an amazing texture on my lips. It doesn't feel like it's going to be completely matte though because of that creaminess that I feel. Maybe it does go matte later on, but right now it doesn't feel that way. So let's just quickly do a transfer test. I have my tea here and I'm going to see if this is going to transfer on my Yeti. So it did come off a little bit. You may not be able to see it on camera, but there's the imprint of my bottom lip right there. Not a lot, which is good. So even if it does transfer a little bit, at least it's not too much. But I am going to wear this for the rest of the day. Let's do our time check here. Time check, it is 12.57 p.m. So let's just call it one o'clock. So it's one o'clock. I'll jump back on here maybe around 6 or 7 p.m. so we can talk about how this performed. So I'll catch you guys later. 
Hey guys, I am back with the final review of the Huda Beauty Power Nudes Duo Lipsticks. So the last shade that I wore is called Interview, which is this more of a peachy nude color. This was the darker shade between the two of them. So the first shade that I swatched was a was described as a cool pinky nude while this one is that peachy nude which I did prefer because it's a, a darker uh, nude color that I thought um, went well with my skin tone. So this is what it looks like after seven hours. Let's do our time check. I had swatched it at one o'clock today and right now it is Let's try that again. It is 7.58 p.m. So it's eight o'clock and I've officially been wearing this lipstick for seven hours straight without reapplying it. So this is what you see now. There's still a little bit that you can see from the perimeter, but for the most part, it is gone. So this lipstick, you would have to take with you to reapply it. The lipstick did eventually get more matte. I know when I had first swatched it, it still transferred a little bit, but it got more matte and less transferable, if that makes sense, if that's a word, throughout the day. But at the same time, it still didn't last as long as I thought it would. I thought it would have at least last a little bit longer but that was not the case. But what I actually want to do is try a transfer test with a makeup wipe because I feel like the lipstick was a nude color so even if there was still a little trace of it left, it would be hard to see. So the only way we can prove that there is probably still some lipstick left on my lips is to try and remove some with a makeup wipe. And there you have it <laughs> so it's still there but not as pigmented as it was when I first applied it clearly but you can see that lipstick still came off my lips even though it's pretty hard to see because of the nature of the color I honestly feel like it would be worthwhile if you purchased her full-size lipsticks rather than these mini lipsticks because well now it's $13 so I would definitely say yeah um, go and try it out but for $19 where it was previously that's like almost you know $10 for one you know uh, travel size which honestly I think is a little bit too steep for the size of the lipstick typically I don't usually have a problem with mini lipsticks I prefer to buy mini lipsticks not only because I do a lot of reviews but I feel like I use up more of the product because it's such a smaller size but if you want it to be worthwhile for you it might be best to buy the full size lipsticks but that's just how I feel that's just what I think you can do what you want at the end of the day because guess what it is your coins that you worked for so I would leave that up to you with that said I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I hope it will help you to make a more informed decision in the future if you're thinking about purchasing these lipsticks but if you like this video go ahead and leave me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe so that you can continue to see more videos like this from me it really does help my channel and it helps me to continue to provide more content like this for you guys but thank you guys again for watching and i'll catch you next time bye